Hey everybody, this is Layla the Regulator here, and I'm going to talk about something off subject because I just can't let it go. Um, the Trayvon Martin case, uh, we got the verdict, and honestly, I'm not surprised at all. I am disappointed. I was hoping that this man would get something done um, and justice would prevail. However, that wasn't the case. The jury made their decision. Um, the comment I really need to offer to everyone is, of course, our country has a very torrid racial history. Um, and by the way, this person is not white at all. He's, he's Latino. Um, he was raised in a white household, but all in all, he's Latino. Um, take the racial thing completely out of it, period. At the end of the day, a grown man took the law into his own hands and killed a kid in cold blood. Point blank, period. I don't care if he was, the, uh, if Trayvon was a weed smoker. I don't care if he was taking pictures on Facebook throwing up the finger. That does not justify someone to kill someone in cold blood blood at all and if we that's what we have cops for and there's that's that is the problem that's why justice was not served because when you let someone go simply because oh well you know he was he was you know he was a weed smoker he got into a lot of fights in school it's okay you know and he was fighting uh, Zimmerman and he deserved it to get shot you know it's there's a real big problem with society and the way they think um, and this is part of the negative environment that we live in with people that just could justify killing at all um, life should not be taken by anyone but the creator and or if you're in the food chain that's just the process of life if you happen to be part of the food chain, that's quite understandable. But if you're not and you're human, we are considered to be the highest intelligent beings on this planet. Our life should only be taken by the creator. No one has the right to do so. And I don't care what the circumstance is. It's just completely wrong. Life is a gift. And trust me if God feels that your presence is not needed on earth he will do so to do to get rid of you um, and no I don't believe God intervened in any way to get rid of Trayvon I'm sure there's a lot more sinister people out there that deserved whatever they deserve um, so to you I say how do we feel about this um, we will be having conversations with people and since in terms this is a racial issue we will be seeing the true colors of some people in our view some people will have an opinion that may not be savory to you um what i can say about this is that no rioting needs to happen it's never going to solve anything and it's going to further put the stain of the stereotype that blacks are violent and we are not practical and we act before thinking. It will not solve anything. Again, as far as having conversations with people, may it be colleagues or friends or both, take their comments with a grain of salt if it's unsavory to you. Um, you learn a lot from people from incidences like this. I can just say do not run with your emotions if they make a comment that is unsavory to you. What can you possibly do? An opinion is opinion and we all have them. Um, is it right or wrong? Only the creator knows. However, all in all it's a tragedy. And we should not let this down our spirits. It should be more of an awakening call that people can just do whatever they want, I guess. Um, we have a law system and 
you have to be tried by a jury of your peers and if they let you go they let you go case closed not saying that the law system is not flawed however it, that is what it is and we have to res uh, we have to accept it um, again life is a beautiful gift it should never be taken away from anyone but the creator it's a travesty that things like this happen um, I don't care what way it is this was a person that only lived on this wonderful planet for 16 years they weren't allowed to experience the wonderful gifts that this earth can give and if they did make mistakes they didn't have an, a time to learn from them um, and it's a tragedy that people do not value one's life over others they have a preference for whose life is more important and for those whose life they do not feel is important they can justify why this person is not on the planet and that disheartens me a great deal um, when 9-11 happens, race was never the factor. Um, from what I know, there wasn't race that day. People helped one another, black, white, woman, man, all, ba all backgrounds of life because from that particular moment, they understood that life was precious and they really cared. It didn't matter about the color or the race or sex or whatever it's about preserve preserving life protecting one another looking out for one another helping one another get out um, because life at that moment was valued can we all just get over this in the sense that life is valuable I don't care how hard it is I don't care how crazy it is life is valuable and we should have respect for it and respect for others lives period even when the person doesn't value their own we are here to love this hatred this this disdain this 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 discourse around here discourse rather sorry it hurts me i can't even speak straight because we should be loving everything everyone period that's why we're here can't you feel that inside of you that that's why we're here and if you can't see that and you write me off as some crazy hippie and my head's in the clouds and I'm nuts you're so blind to your true purpose you're here to love you're here to create something good and if you yourself do not feel good, it's time for you to clean yourself inside out. And it's not easy. It's never been easy for me. But we do it. We make it. We make it the way it should be. The best way it should be. So when we close our eyes, finally, and meet the Creator, we can meet him or her with pride and say you put me on that earth and I made the most of it and I left a beautiful mark there that will continue all of this from this Trayvon trial is nothing but conflict a life was lost and that's the biggest tragedy I don't care who's right or wrong I don't care who uh, had a right to die or who had a right to kill whatever your a life was lost against someone's will and that's horrific can we please move on from this and start to love one another can we respect each other's lives can we not put put us in a category anymore can we just be humans can we just be humans I really really believe there will be a day there will be a day where we will just be humans I know that I know this the sad thing is unfortunately I don't think it's gonna happen in my lifetime 
I don't know if it's going to happen in your children's lifetime. But it will happen one day. So, my condolences to the Trayvon family. My condolences to people who've lost someone unexpectedly. And this is Layla saying, saying signing out. Peace.